losing side to uh, the North present Smith medal. the uh, Premiership Cup. Tippy of America is going Williams off the ground. Team. I don't know what happened Mr. there. Mr. Football himself, E.J. Whitten. Now we've got the presentation of the VFL Cup and the players' medallions. Ted Whitten up to make the presentations. What a day Could it's we been. we have the captain of the Hawthorne team, please? Tucky. Tucky's still pretty involved in the emotion of it all. He's busy. What a great performance by him too, Dennis. Uh, what, 36 or 37 years of age? And still running around the ground like a 19-year-old. Uh, I guess the legs aren't the same, but uh, his spirit is enormous. What a team they are here for. And Alan Jeans, of course, has come Ladies back and this year and uh, taken over from Alan Joyce and coached them to another flag. Michael Tucker and their coach, Alan Jeans. This team, no question, is the yardstick, the benchmark of the BFL. And they save at the moment. Just getting back to Geelong again. Wasn't that a fantastic effort by Geelong after kicking, what, only two goals in the first quarter to Hawthorne's eight goals four? And at the finish, there's Malcolm Blight addressing the players, which is... I think is indicative of Malcolm Blight. Fairly composed person and a lot of charisma. Terrific effort. Everybody here got the money's worth. As the old story goes, there had to be a loser. I'm glad we won it today. So I just want to thank you very much from the Hawthorne Football Club. That's terrific stuff to listen to Michael Tuck. And the memory goes back to when he came down from Berwick in 1970 as a skinny kid. He really was so shy. Geez, don't have credit. It's a credit to himself the way he's played over these years. And now the medallions. Okay. If we can get the boys organised over there, hold on. First of all, we receive his medallion, Chris Mew. Oh, Chris. Ted Whitten making the presentations. Hey, John, isn't it amazing how guys who have fought out 120 minutes of tough football and they can still drink that champagne when you win, can't you? <laughs> Here he is, Chris Mew, ladies and gentlemen. I think Malcolm Blight is making the point too. He's given Geelong out from the ground. And they're watching this. And having been in that situation, Dennis, it really does hurt. Number four, Andrew Collins. Number seven, Gary Ayer. Normally the captain makes these presentations or calls them up, but Tucky's gone missing. Gary Ayres. Gary Ayres, here he comes. Would be very disappointed, Gary Ayres. He injured his thigh, had to sit out the last Number quarter, eight. but his contribution Dean early Anderson. was just terrific. He's a guy who's played a pretty good year. Dean Ladies Anderson and uh, kicking four goals in the grand now. final was a good effort. Has left the ground and he's not feeling too well, but still, I think we should give him a big round of applause. And I'll certainly pass on his medallion. Chris Whitman. Number 10, Chris Whitman. Looking very eager. Let's hear it from number 11, Gary Bacanara. What a great player he's been over the years. Oh, a real okay. opportunity. He's the icing on the cake, isn't he? You just cannot contain him. Four goals today, four goals won. 14 kicks and 10 hand Number passes. 14, coming up Always seems to be in the right place at the right Deer. time, Bucky. So what about this guy? Well, this is the man that really did get them into the finals. He's just put in a sterling Number effort all year in the ruck. A lone Darren hand. Pritchard. This man coming up now, probably, oh, I believe, Pritchard. Hawthorne's best player today. Probably a bit stiff too. Don Ablett kicking all those goals, perhaps oh, swinging it, but out. Darren Pritchard is a tremendous effort all day. Here he comes, Darren Pritchard. Probably blotted his copy book. He didn't kick a goal, but he had four points registered. Well, let's hear it for number 19, Jason Dunstall. Four goals today, so he finishes the season on 138. And what wouldn't show up are two brilliant tackles. Number 20, coming back after injury, Scott McGuinness. What about that collision with the behind post there in the last quarter? And also, he's played with a ruptured ankle. So it was a great Number effort. Number 23, the kid, Dermot Graham. Man, they love to have. <laughs> uh, what an identity, though, 
within the curtain. And and so it showed a lot of character. It stayed on the ground, Don. Oh, yes, terrific. Because uh, that crunch must have really hurt him. Oh, it did hurt. It really did hurt. Chris Langford. And he really did curb the brilliance of Ablett there for a while. It was a great battle between those two. Number 25. Yes, I don't think Peter you'd like to be Curran. drawn out of the hat to play against Gary Ablett at no. any stage with him. You'd have to be drawing the short straw. Peter Curran also coming into this game. He had fluid on the knee. He was one of the injured players receiving treatment through the week. Number 31, the youngster, only his sixth league game, Greg Madigan. What a great throw that must be. And he looked good when he came on. And he did well. He started, he's played his football as a ruckman, but he picked up a halfback flank and did Number well. Number 34, he's there again, John Kennedy. And he was a very, very good player in the first quarter, John Kennedy. Got Hawthorne going. Very solid citizen. Let's hear it for number 35, James Morrissey. Well, they call him the freak. He did some freakish things today. School teacher at Doncaster High School. And of course, he's here somewhere. I can't see him out in this crowd. Number 44, John Platton. And this him. Runner up on the ground, though. To be okay, and that's good news. <laughs> and he received his medallion, his premiership medallion for 1989, the Foster's Grand Final. The coach, Alan James. Back to back flags. Alan Joyce last Fantastic, season. Fantastic, isn't it? Alan James this season. His eighth year. And Hawthorne, of course, a premiership coach at St Kilda. Well done, Alan. A nonchalant and the wave of the hand. Michael Tuck. He looks 37. Oh, what, he's terrific. What a bloke, eh? No. What a guy. What a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, what a thrilling grand final in the Fosters. Uh, grand so that's final it. The presentations have been made. Just repeating. And now will you join Gary us Ablett. Won the Norm Smith medal. They finished with nine goals. Now, final score line in an epic grand final. The Hawks, 21-18, have defeated the Cats, 21-12. <laughs>but full credit to Geelong, who came back so strongly and eventually just failed by six points. The boys begin their premiership lap of honour, carrying the injured John Platten. And Hawthorne knows what it's like to win today.